Alright. Alright, sorry about that. Alright, um... Welcome, ladies and gents, back to... Cars Race-O-Rama. So yeah, earlier I was having problems, I had a phone call that I needed to take, so... There we go. We are in Metropolis, which is the, uh... City track, which is the road track in, uh, Cars Race-O-Rama, so... Uh, okay, kid, you are represent... Can't really read it. Well, kind of hard to read. Sorry. Right there we go. There we go. Okay, kid. Representing our school. So I want you to and everybody tell everybody which academy is the best. Is the best. Partner with fellow students to hold top positions when a trophy by by placing within the top three. All right. So for those you don't remember, we are a mix of uh, Lightning McQueen, Jimmy Johnson, and a racer. So I'm away. <laughs> and we also have white walls for some reason. So there's that. And that guy is just blowing past me. Oh, these. Right. Ciao. Okay, all right. Oh, hey, bump. <laughs> bump it. The bump and run. The bump and run. All right. Oh, whoa. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. I forgot this way. This way to go through. Oh, jeez. Oh. Oh. oh, yeah. It's because I'm on pro mode. That's... Oh, shoot. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no. No, no. Oh. No, no, no. Oh. I'm going to retry it. There we go. We'll try again. Alright. Boogity boogity boogity, let's go racing. Hey! Hey, <laughs> I'm away. Rainy in the wall. Out of the way. <laughs> These guys are like, uh, they're flying cars, that's why they're so fast. No, 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 okay, Ooh. no, 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 I put on my Facebook profile, I'm a pro at this game, so I need to be a pro. I'm beating somebody, so that's good. Alright, don't worry, we got this. Here, come on. No, he ain't. I just passed you. I'm about to pass you too. Too bad. <laughs> you just did. Loser. Probably because you don't go to the Doc Hudson Racing School. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, so this probably doesn't make any sense. This is the uh, storyline of Cars Race Arama. Is, uh... So Lightning Queen has made his own racing school with Doc Hudson, which is called Doc Hudson Racing Academy. And then Chick Hicks also made his own one, just because Chick Hicks is on creative, but... So, it's basically a competition between you, you racing and just basically showing that you have a superior racing school than Chick Hicks. And the final race, you actually get the race check. So that's pretty cool. Probably in the end, we will race Chick. I will, I will race Chick after this race, just because he's a... Uh, the phrase is just so beautiful and creative. So, out of the way. <laughs> No. Alright, there, okay, there's that one guy in front of me. I think he's like a, uh, I don't know what he is. He's like a... No! Try to bump and run me. That's the trick for that hairpin. You gotta... I should have bumped the wall. It's not good. Uh, don't worry. I got... The guy behind me is still like a second behind, but... This guy, I just gotta worry about. Oh shoot, this guy's like, oh, you landed on top of me. You two, no, no, you're not, you're not passing me, too. Chick taught you nothing. Chick taught you nothing. He's a cheater. 
and a fraud. She taught you nothing. Lose. Any more downforce? This big wang ain't enough. Out of the way. The game just froze while I was going 90 miles an hour. It's actually like really slow. Cause normally I'm hitting like yeah 130, 130. Ugh. All right, I mean, there's, there's that guy. You no, know, you know, I know we go to the same school, but I'm just, I'm listening to Chick Hicks' students now. I mean, they've actually got like good. No, no. We work together. Fighting won't have a chance. Yeah. Dang fools! Now I don't have a chance. All right, come on, come on. There we go. Try and get at least in the top three. No, no, no. no. <laughs> no! 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 We're a chick! <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna beat you. Because you've been just a jerk. This is almost too easy. What do you mean this is almost too easy? We're playing pro mode. Where you come from? Alright, you know what? Yeah, they're gonna boo me now. <laughs> they boo you. <laughs> Alright, uh... Can we try uh, in the settings? I'm gonna probably end up trying to, uh... I'm gonna end up trying to... Yeah, I'm gonna go with controls. I think there's, like, some way for me to, uh... Yeah, there's nothing for steering sensitivity. Really? Alright, boogie boogie boogie, let's go race then. No, you ain't. Shoot, no, no! 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 Oh, shoot! I don't. Aw. That was just an awful start. Alright, I'm gonna try again. Come on, this is an easy track. We have Lightning McQueen. We're driving Lightning McQueen, who's painted like 83 time winner, 83. 83 race winner, seven time champion, Jimmy Johnson. Then we've got Giant Wang and White Walls. I mean, like, this is like, this is like professional racing stuff. Like, I don't get it. Oh, shoot, hey. Stop bumping me. Oh, shoot, no, no. Gotta save it. Save it, come on. And, okay. You know, it doesn't matter. It's, a fir it's first, first lap, first lap. Doesn't matter. Boom. Confetti. I'm Jimmy Johnson. Boom! Confetti. How about you, you look where you're going? You just rammed into me. She's a jump mechanic, so it's not very good. I mean, it looks like everybody else here is having a bad time, too. Oosh! No! Oh, uh, no! Oh, jeez. That was just... Ugh. All right, fans, go. Go, 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 go. Go, be crazy. Alright, come on, let's go. I'm not even racing chick fix yet. Style? <laughs> what? Yeah, you're, you're, you're a loser. You should get fired from the school because you're all, all the way in last place. I mean, this good green guy's even better than you. He goes, chick hicks. Out of the way! Shoot, no. Every tire? Alright, so. Cars Race Arama. The guy who voices Lightning McQueen. So you know, Lightning McQueen is voiced by Owen Wilson. Wow! I know! Wow! Owen Wilson, wow. Alright, so. So the thing is, Owen Wilson's a busy guy. He's got other stuff to do besides being Lightning McQueen. So, uh, his... So, he has a backup for, like, you know, for, like, toy commercials and stuff for him. Or sometimes for video games. But this game's an exception, actually. This, this one was not voiced by Owen Wilson's backup. It was, however, not voiced by Owen Wilson either. 
was not voiced by Owen Wilson either. It was voiced by the backup for Owen Wilson's backup. So the backup for Lightning McQueen was too busy to voice Lightning McQueen. But they had to hire a backup guy for the backup guy. So it's the understudy's understudy had to race for Lightning, had to do Lightning McQueen's voice for this game. And that goes, <laughs> so yeah, that's, that shows you how much importance this game was when they were making it. So you see everybody, they're in the studio and they're like, hey guys, we gotta go make a, we gotta make a video game. Oh, okay, what, what was the video game? Making a Lightning McQueen. All right. All right, I'll, call, I'll put Owen Wilson on the phone. No, Owen, no, Owen Wilson's too busy. All right, I'll go call the understudy guy. No, even he's busy. He's like, all right, all right, what do we do? I got an idea. You get hit the backup's backup. How about that? Everybody in the office thought, hmm, great idea. There we go, we got a little bit of a jump. There we go. There, I think we can do it as long as we make that jump right there. I think we can make it. I think we can win. What? Hey, no. You're on my team. Be nice to me. There we go. Good. I saved the boost for last. No, no. No, no. Come on, come on, come on. Yes! Yes! Spiro Kachow! There we go. Yeah, there we go. Gold medal, Lightning McQueen. There we go. It only took me like four tries. But alright, uh, you know, we're gonna go quit. We're gonna go try a different course. We're gonna try and do this one with Kajiga Chicks. A former and forever Piston Cup champion. Alright, um. So I know I know I titled this Forza Horizon 4, because I mean it is a little bit like Forza Horizon 4. I mean now you're thinking but uh I know I'm just showing you the races right now. But uh here I will later on I will show you that this game is better than Forza Horizon 4. Uh what what should we do? What are we doing road race? No, let's go to a track actually. Here we'll do a this one's Which one are we gonna do? Uh, let's do no. Let's do an off-road race. Let's do a rally race. Uh, professional, kind of pro. So a lot of cars here in uh, Forza Motorsport Four. I know this is cars race around, but it is like Forza Motorsport Four, and I believe that this game is a better buy because you can get it for like seven dollars from GameStop or free from your library. But Forza, you gotta spend a lot of dough for it. You got an Xbox that I don't have, so here I'll show you the car collection. So there's Mainline McQueen. You can make them look cool and stuff. There's like wannabe supercar Lightning McQueen. There's racer Lightning McQueen. And then there's a uh, buff Lightning McQueen. That's what I like to call them. There's a, oh yeah, this one's like a real sporty Lightning McQueen. There's Mater. I mean, he, he's looking fine. Oh, there's Bubba. This guy is like a giant tow truck. He's great for, uh, he's great for ramming into different people, but the only problem is that he can't get past 100 miles an hour. So, there's a Carrera. It was a, what was it? Camera. It was, uh, Camp? What was her name? It was, uh, Candon. That's what, what her name was. She's like that uh, penguin from Club Penguin. That's how I remember her, her name. All right. Um. So yeah, she's just like this uh, like real spoiled brat racer kid. You have to race against in the first round, in the second round. Oh yeah, but here's Racer Chick Hicks. Here's just normal Chick Hicks. And then you've got Racer Chick Hicks. When we're going off roads, you know, you gotta have your car slammed to the ground with a wide body on it. So we'll probably end up doing him, but we're just going to keep looking. So this guy's El Machismo. He's like a giant, uh... <clears throat> he's a giant, like, pickup truck, rally truck thing. Uh, 
He voices somebody in some like really popular TV series. I forget who though. There's Phil Moore, the hippie boss. Got Flo in the fifties diner car. Got Doc Hudson. He's looking pretty dope. Got Luigi, who's also probably one of the worst cars in the game, because he's like Bubba, except with Bubba, you can ram into everybody and you can just crash him and stuff. Luigi, you can go like 50 miles per hour faster, but you can't ram into everybody and everybody rams into you. And you got Ramon, the guy with all the cool paint jobs. You got Sarge, army car, sheriff, cop. We got Stinger, who's uh, basically a ricer, who's like the final boss battle in each of the rounds. The Metropolis rounds. So there are four. There are five main rounds. Yeah, there's five main. No, aren't, no, there's six rounds. So there's first round, which is at Doc Hudson Motor Speedway, which is a racetrack that's been built in Radiator Springs in this part of the universe. Uh, next round, the next round, you go to Radiator Springs and you do stuff there. Next round is uh, Santa Carrera, I think. Santa Carrera or something. That's what they call it. That's where you race Candace. After that, you go to, uh, I think it was called, it was called the Outback or something. So it's basically this big, big off-road world, and then after that, there's, there's, uh, Metropolis. But no, that's only five. So yeah, Metrop after that, Metropolis, which is the on-road stuff where you race Stinger, uh, on Machismo, you race on the, uh, Outback track. And... Yeah, and then in the final race, you race Chick Hicks, which is back at the Doc Hudson Memorial Speedway. You got this guy. This guy was a Tater, I think. And then he got, like, his identical twin, which his name was uh, Tater and... Uh, I don't remember his name, but or whatever. Nobody really cared about him. And there's this Vin car, which is, like, these clones that Chick Hicks makes. So, yeah, he takes, like, these cars and somehow puts them into a factory and they all come out like this. So that's kind of weird. I mean, that VIN thing, I think that's like a secret code where, like, if you scan that or something, like, it gets you, like, a coupon or something for Cars Toys or something. I, th I don't think that works anymore, though, but... All right, whatever. We gotta get... We gotta bring Racer Chick Hicks to the off-road track. But in the in the actual game, Chick Hicks is actually really cool... Is actually really hard to drive against, because... He has like two times more speed than you, and he has a smoke screen behind him, so you can't see behind him. And like off the off the line, he's just incredibly fast. And unfortunately, that doesn't carry over for when people are driving. So, here we go. All right, there we go. Orbit Valley is my own stopping stomping ground. Keep. Eye on turns, you should do fine. Oh, keep your eye on your opponents. They hear they're real stinkers. You just call Ramon a real stinker and Chick Hicks is students. These are my children. <laughs> These are my children. Alright. Goodbye, kids. Watch the watch the real master. Kachiga his way through. They obviously didn't know what the weather was 100% thunder. Kachiga, Kachiga, Kachiga. Oh no! Kachiga. You just called Mater? Kachiga. How's Mater beating me? Andrew. <laughs> well, what the heck was that? <laughs> wow! No, no. Who was that? It was Flo. Flo can't be beating me. Seven seconds ahead of me. Come on, let's go. But yeah, another thing about Cars Race Rama is that the steering is like really sensitive and it changes wherever you're driving. Like there are some turns where like you just have to you just have to turn it all the way in order to get in. And there are some where like you don't need to do it at all. Where like you need to like be like doing incredibly like little tiny ones. Otherwise you're doing it getting a bunch of oversteer. So yeah, it's it's an interesting game. It really trust it really tests your uh, driving skills. Yeah, Kachiga, cameras are on me. Kachiga, 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 say it with me. Kachiga, Kachiga, Kachiga. Yeah, another thing is like if you're trying to correct yourself in a turn or something, like you gotta be like real. You just gotta be like real, real. 
real life, real life will come. Oh, come on, on my way. No. Yeah, all those little uh, things, like in the tracks, you'd have uh, little stars you get, and if you add up the stars, like, you'd get like, some pay jobs and stuff. There we go. And there we go, we're getting through. Rookie? Excuse me, what? You're just trying to say you're a rookie like Lady McQueen? No, there we go. No! Shut up, Mayor. Alright, come on. Bump, bump and run. Where'd you come from? You just, like, glitched out of nowhere. Come on. Up. Oh. Up. Oh, two, three, four. There we go. No! There we go. Fine, kid. Can't get chicken on my level. He's like right behind me. No, okay, alright, come on. We got a little bit. We got a little bit. Wait, what? No! Nani! Keep him from the inside! Alright, there we go, come on. You're not, you're not getting past me! There we go. Kachiga, 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 Say it with me. Kachiga, Chiga, Chiga. There we go. Oh, yeah. Real fast lap. Got a full five seconds ahead of everybody. All right. All right. Bam. There we go. Kachiga. And, okay, there we go. Uh, yeah, we're going to change the course. Actually, now you know we're gonna we're gonna go back. We're gonna get we're gonna bring back a new McQueen. Oh, hello to the one viewer I have at the moment. Leave a comment or something if you want to. Yeah, I think I should have chat on right now. All right. Um. I know we're gonna shake it up. We're, we've been doing enough circuit races. Let's go to uh. Yeah, and Forza is supposedly have a new off-road tracks. Oh, da oh, hey, hello, Danny Pirtle. Nice win, thank you. All right, so Forza 4 now has, uh, Forza Horizon 4 now has off-road tracks and mud. We're going to show you how we truly do it. Monster Truck Mayhem track. I'm not very good at this. I'm just going to leave this on beginner. Uh, anytime, all right, thank you. So, yeah, okay, so this is basically, uh... Lifting your car to the extremes, you've got the, uh, you've got, uh, Lightning McQueen, Mater, and you also have Sully, Sully the Monster Truck, if you look at the end of the credits of Cars 1, I think they show them. You've got Lightning McQueen, so you can have big lift, lift kit on McQueen, so he looks pretty cool, I like to keep him on this classic look, uh, you got Mater, you can make them all black, and then make them all black oil covered uh all right you know we're just gonna keep we're just gonna go with Lightning McQueen oh yeah oh yeah whenever they're uh the other voices are like all angry like this so Lightning McQueen's like never fear fear the bold objects in your mirror are larger than they appear they're saying all like kind of stupid stuff like that all right here we go so Oh, you've gotten used to the giant tires, because this totally doesn't ruin your drivetrain at all. Yeah, because this is absolutely nothing like uh, normal driving. Because the cars, like, they feel like they're going to flip, but then they never do. So you've got to be, like, real careful on the acceleration and stuff. Because, like, it's really slow to accelerate. And then the turning's also even worse than it normally is, so... And also, it always feels like you're going to fall. But yeah, in this track, this is a Rust Bucket Stadium. This is the main track for it. It is hard. There we go. Shoot. No, no, no. Oh, shoot. The guy right behind me. I think that's the, uh, that's the ambulance monster truck. He's like right. He's coming in hot. 
going fast. All right. I better fear the mighty bolt. Yeah, because like jumps like that, like you feel like you're gonna fall like right behind. You're gonna like just flip backwards. Also, the turns too, because you're so high up. Oh, sure, he's falling a lot. Like, did he crash or something? I think who is that? It's like the monster coupe or something. It's all the way back there too. It's right behind him. Jeez, what happened? Did he, like, did he fall over? Because now he's climbing again. They also got the big screens and stuff, and there's a lot of fans here for, like, a little tiny dirt track. Also back there, that was a figure eight, and in some of the races, that actually works, where there are actually drivers from other parts jumping over it. Like, this is, this isn't it, but I think, it's not in this race. It's, like, in some of the other races. But right, here we go, lap, lap, final lap. And we're still winning. Still got Danny Pirtle, I think, watching. And there we go, jump. I think that turn right there, I think if you go on that, that does lead you to the other part of the other part of the eight, other part of the intersection jump. I think. I don't know for sure. I don't remember I haven't remembered this map very well. The other part of the track that's really cool part of this is really cool is that if you're just going to the Radiator Springs map for free roam, is that you can actually drive up to the stadium you can go to the stadium. There we go. There we go. I know the, uh, I, I know the dock has a moral speed, but that one isn't in it, but this one actually is, which is actually really cool. I don't think you can go inside there, like, you can just hang out outside, but... No, we're gonna change, we're gonna change tracks, uh, so that's the monster truck racing bit. Got that win, three, three and zero oh for wins. Uh, we're back to your right, relay races. Yeah, these are very simple relay races. So you get to pick a car, and then it picks out two other cars for you to go through. Sorry, we're gonna go Santa Carbera because I haven't done that yet. Professional mode now. Alright, uh, here we go. Alright, we're gonna knock out I've been sitting on the floor this whole time. Alright, um, who should I drive as? Uh, you know, let's do the completely, uh, the worst car for this track. So this would be like, how much cheese Yeah, because this is like a big off-road truck for a uh, little street track. El Machismo! Gonna win! Gonna wreck you, Lightning McQueen! He's like a big tough guy, but he's like terrified of chick hicks though. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Three, two, one. Boogity boogity boogity, let's go. Yeah, you're just gonna feel yeah, his handling is awful. <laughs> So wide on the turn. I, actually, you know, he's actually not that. He's actually really good at handling. Actually, I've noticed. I mean, normally, I'm, I was sort of inclined to say, yeah, he's got bad handling. So he's an off-road truck and uh, too, tough, too, too much truck. Too much truck. <laughs> he's an off-road truck. Too, he's too much of a truck for you. We gonna go to town. Go to <laughs> if you ever want to pick up a girl, that's what you do. Let's go to town in the El Machismo voice. You know, just, just get just get her a copy of a Cars Race Arama, send it to her, and go to the free play. Finally, get up to the level so you can get up to the good free play version where you've got El Machismo and just say, "Let's go to town. Let's go and have dinner or something." Not like there we go. Wait, you just said thunder. Wait, it's Chick Hicks who says thunder. Oh yeah, never mind, but. We got Ramon. 
There we go. Oh yeah, also if you jump on that. There we go. Ah. Hey, come the also, I just realized that the point system, like they've got all the points on there. Like you said, you saw when I jumped and stuff, like it's like 500 point boost or whatever. You can't do anything with the points. I mean, the only points that are useful is if you get the stars that are in the normal levels. Because they actually have, because like you can actually get like paint jobs and new cars for stuff like that, but. Now they don't have any reason. Like now all it is, it's just like, oh yeah, look at how many points I got. I mean, you think you can probably get like. I think my highest one, which I think I'm playing right now, is Alvin or something. That's got like 250,000 points. I mean, I bet if I were to. I'd probably just get more points than that if I just kept on playing the first round over and over again. But. Here we go. Come on, Mater, let's go. There for some reason, these always end with Mater. I don't know why. You know, what the real cool thing about Mater is that he's got the tow truck thing that actually, like, dangles around when you're actually driving them, so that's pretty cool. You know, when you go on the jumps, like, it kind of flies up in the air and stuff, so I'm going to be returning, you know, it just kind of swings. Unfortunately, you can't hook other drivers with it, otherwise that'd be really fun. I mean, right now, this is just a two-car race. It's just me and the guy in the second right now, the green guy. I mean, look at him. He's not, I mean, oh, shoot, he fell. He's falling a lot. Did he crash? Even before, like, he was, like, half a second behind me or something. And then the other guy is seven seconds. All right. Maybe, maybe he'll, start, he'll start catching up to or something. Because this is going to be... That might actually be good that he's falling behind just because... Oh, because I'm going off track. But, no, not because of that. Because this part is really hard to do. Like, this whole dirt tunnel. Because, like, if you go too far in there, you see that. You can fall into that. And all on the edges, and it's really hard to stay in the middle to the bank turn. So, but yeah, that's the main part. That's the only real challenging part of San Cabrera. There we go. There we go. Uh, quit. And okay, so I showed monster truck racing. Uh, Alright, so now, I'm doing a derailleur race, alright, we're going to do Guido Kart. Guido Kart's really fun, because, like, you just drive, it's like Mario Kart, where you got the power-ups and stuff, but you're, you're driving as, like, the little, uh, pitties that they have, like, the little, uh, forklifts that Lightning McQueen has. It's really hard, because, like, you can flip around a lot, but then you don't have a lot of speed, so, you know, you got Guido... But Luigi, Luigi for some, Luigi's the only car you can drive in both Guido Kart and normal racing. It's like in Guido Kart, like he's like he's about size everybody else, but then and then in uh, normal racing, he's tiny. So I can do this. I think it's like the revolting guy or something. There's a chick Hicks guy. So he's got the big mustache. Uh, yeah, this company. I forget what this company is called. But this is the company that changed all the green cars to white ones. Yeah, not Chuck. That's why I like to call him. So, I, I like to race as not Chuck. I think even got the same voice guy for him. It's like, you need tires, you idiot! You fool! Ugh! That's it, McQueen. Mr. One Man Show. Whoa. How am I ever going to find someone else who can fill me up with gas? Adios, Chuck. And my name is not Chuck. Whatever. Right, this is a big race. Don't have small packages. Racing against smaller cars. Take a little getting used to it. Try to keep up. Collect power-ups a long way. You're going to have to place third or better to achieve a win. So dig down deep and pull out a win. Go for the gold king. This quote says it's like three abreast racing. So it's got like three, three across. I'll show like a little uh, part for it where you're getting stretched and stuff. Oh yeah, and there's that white, there's a yellow car too. Who's in it? She's like one of the showgirl cars for a series, and she's actually like twice as big as everybody else. Yeah, I've also got the Mike Wazowski, <laughs> the Mike Wazowski pity. And I've also got like boxes on the track, which are in the way. So I'll try. I'll see if I can get a power. See, a smoke screen basically blocks from behind you, which isn't very helpful because it doesn't matter. The AIs don't really care. Activate philosophy. <laughs> Well, tur turbo charge is hard. It's good just because it gives you a boost and you keep on going like that. And turbo charge is the most easy one. 
What's really weird is that the Mike Wazowski guy says, I'm watching, you're always watching. Because I thought it was what, like, Braz said or something from it. Like, Mike Wazowski, I'm watching you, Wazowski. Always watching. There we go. I'm trying to see if I can get Ghost next, because Ghost one's actually really helpful, because you can just go through all their cars and you can go through all the boxes. There we go, come on. There we go. It's a pretty easy track, an oval track. It's well, it's a right turning oval though, so it's not NASCAR. Just turning right the whole time. Proper ovals, you turn left. And speed boost, that that one's kind of annoying, just because like they don't let you just like have it just sit there and stuff. Like it has to be, you have to let it fill up. Wait, is that Mike Wazowski? Mike Wazowski. All right, there's the ghost one. Oh, it's not Mike Wazowski. So I'll see if I can try and drive through. Fake Luigi. All right, I might, that didn't really work. But, oh, shoot. No, shoot. No, no, I'm going to lap Luigi. There, there we go. Flip him around. Because you can flip him around the track. All right, there we go. But yeah, first place goes to Chuck. Well, not, not Chuck, actually. But all right, quit. All right, no viewers at the moment, but that's cool. Cars tunes. Yeah, this one's actually really good because this one has a uh, in the uh, yeah, this cars uh, they do these things called cars tunes, which are like things called Mayor's Tall Tales, which is like Mayor saying, "Oh yeah, I used to be a drift, I used to be a drift hot rod racer, street racer," and I'm saying, "I used to be a daredevil, I used to be a fire truck, I used to be a a doctor and stuff like that." And it's like, or I used to, I met it once, met a UFO or something, so. So yeah, they, they actually made levels off of it. This one's actually really cool. It's Tokyo Mater. So it's... Mater has to tow a guy to Japan. And guy's in Radio Springs. Tows him to Japan, which is a pretty bad decision. But he ends up there. He gets on the nerves of some local racer. And then he gets modified to become like a street racer. And he actually looks really cool. He looks like a, he was real riced and stuff, which actually looks cool. Yes, that, that's what he looks like. Riced Mater. So yeah, this is actually pretty fun. Where you just have to like drift a lot. So basically, it's initial, it's initial D simulator, and you're like twice as big as the other guy. Right into your mind. Or it's like, no, no, I can't say that. Yeah, I gotta get to a uh, corner. Right into your mind. Deja vu. I just been into this place before. Higher on the streets, and I know it's my place to go home. For me, she ruined the surface of mystery. Standing on my feet, and so high, and I tried to do do. Oh! What I don't get is that this is that I have to drift all the time, and the other guy doesn't. And also, they got the other guys out of the way. Oh, uh, everybody! Uh, shoot, no! Yeah, cause this is like a part where he goes, he goes the wrong way on the street. But shoot, you know, what? I, I just remembered I have a, I have a toy for this. I have like a to shoot, no, I have a toy track for this actually. So yeah, I've got that, I've got that red, yellow crane guy. So you like, you drive around as him. Oh, shoot, no! You actually get to drive around, and so what you do is like you drive around, then you end up going. Through. Oh shoot, no! Does it even really matter if you beat this guy? I forget. Shoot, I thought there was like some of that because oil and you just drift faster. No. There, there's the guy. Is it him? No, oh, no, no. No. We getting loose. That's what she said. <laughs> I know, we're gold. So we should... Go, go, go. This is the part, yeah, this is the part where you go to Tokyo Tower, I think. Either we're gaining on the guy, or he's already there. I think it might be he's already there, but... That's why we're gaining on him, but... Okay, that's weird, like, it's... The, the thing is glitching. The boost thing. 
Yeah, no, I think he's already there. Shoot. Shoot. Alright. Shoot. Moon's the winning streak. Mater, you're a loser. <laughs> you didn't win. You know, like I didn't even drift. <laughs> yeah, you're first though. Alright. No, I'm just gonna retry this. I want, I want to try it. I want to get the drift points, but I also want to beat the guy. Nani. Go talk to me. Let's go. Go talk to me. Come on, let's go. So, Yusuke Takahashi. And there's our Nothing. Trying to beat me, because so, like yeah, the acceleration time is like really slow. <laughs> you lost your hood scoop. <laughs> Dang fool, losing your hood scoop. Man, you're just blowing past us, jeez. He crashed too. I love it. Let's put him in front of the traffic. Sorry, buddy. Shoot, no! He's stuck in draft. Just rear me. Get over. Get over. I need to get over. We haven't exchanged insurance information yet. Okay, because this whole drifting thing is just kind of stupid. Just because, like, it doesn't work. Go, 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 come on, come on. Come on, green, 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 come on, go, 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 go. You know, I'm gonna try and drift in the tunnel, because you know, I can probably just get like a bunch of points or something. Deja vu. Do not want to throw it up. All right, shoot, all right, you know what? Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> the guy's just like sitting there doing shit. I'm lost again. We're gonna get trying again. There are you lost? I bet if like I beat this guy or something, like I'd still end up like. I bet if I beat this guy, like they'd be like they'd be like completely unimpressed. Like, boo, you 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 didn't drift it. You didn't have enough style points. Made her and breaking up with you. By the way, Rimdral. I'm just gonna pray he's got like stuck in traffic again or something. Oh shoot, he's not getting stuck in traffic. There. Is he? Shoot, no, no. Shoot, he actually got through. All right, all right. Oh, did he? Maybe he did. No, I'm just gonna ram him. No need. Alright, come on, race your life. Let's go. Come on, go. Get out of the way. 
no, 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 no. I'm not getting in the tunnel after you. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. we're already there. We're already there. Alright, good. We're gonna beat him. We're gonna beat him and we're gonna get the drift thing. No, no, come on. Go, 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 go. Yes, yes. We're gonna beat him. We're gonna beat him. We're gonna actually be winners. We're gonna impress Mia and Chia. There we go. There we go. Hot scrub, he was last. He was drifting. No, he was drifting because he had to make up all the points. Yeah, I know I am because I win. Love you too, babe. All right. All right, there we go. We won. All right, now I'm going to quit. Retire a successful street racer. Celebratory swag of swig of Snapple. There we go. Okay, so we did that. New car mini games. What were the what were the mini games that they had? Oh yeah, it was like uh oh yeah Mac Track Challenge. This one was pretty cool. Where it was like a uh, you had to do a so it was based off of a toy which was called Mac Track. So it was basically a big oval, and then you could drive them to Mac, and you just jump out of them. The daily picture or something and in this they have a thing called photo ops which basically means you're on the track you jump and then you can get onto a uh, and then you just get a picture and you get points for that so main trick for this you had to basically just wait, oh shit I forgot about that oh shit I forgot about that you could do you could do like trick stuff with you so the thing is what you're supposed to do, you're supposed to like drift around the corners or something, which doesn't really work. So what I just tend to do is I just do donuts for a little while. I'll just like just sit here and I'll do donuts for a little bit. No, I'll just get a bunch of points. Shoot, never mind, I didn't know. You know, you just gotta keep on driving like this. It's like impossible to basically just drift the whole corner. It's not really drifting, it's just skidding. Didn't we need like 10,000 points for it or something? I know if we do keep on going, like you end up getting like achievements and stuff, like I think when you hit 500, you get great. Yeah, it's just dumb enough, so you need to like, kind of like trick it and the thing is to drift. Alright, I gotta, I gotta go in the pits. Doc, you got a problem, I need to get in the pits. No, I'll, just do, I'll, I'll just do some drift for you, Doc, how about that? You're sitting on there just being so lazy, and yeah, Chick X is over there too. Why don't you go talk to him? Go talk to Chick. Go talk to Chick. Tell me he's being a real jerk for making a school just to spite me. And you. Alright, I'm just gonna give you a little bit of smoke. I'm gonna cheat you. And we got great. I think 1,000, you get something that's like awesome. Awesome, yeah, there we go. And I think if you hit 2,000, it's Kachow or something. Wait, Kachow, 1,500. Kachow. There is supposedly a secret level where you get Kachiga. I think I once reached Kachiga when I was a kid. It was, uh, I think it's somewhere around the 25,000 mark where you end up getting Kachiga. No, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go here. I'm just gonna keep doing this. Just 
still get enough points. There we go. A little tire squealing. A little squealy. Kajow. Just gonna make sure I get to the. Alright, oh, there we go. 10,000 mark. So we're gonna see it. Now, now all it is right now is just kind of like a standard oval track. Standard mile, mile half oval track you see in NASCAR normally. The thing is, I'm getting a lot of speed actually. That's like 203 in the corners is a lot. And down here is a little like short track area. There we go. There we go, I'm doing it. There we go. Ow. Ka-chow. <laughs> there we go. Ka-chigga is actually better. Whoa. Here we go. Uh, I'm going to quit. I'm going to go to a different track now. Uh, Rust Bucket Derby. Oh, yeah, this is like all Demolition Derby stuff. Call them the Smash Ups. Do Smash Up 3. Professional. Yeah, the Bubba's Bash one. That one's like really hard because you got Bubba and he's making a bunch trying to bully you and run into you. And also, you don't have a very big selection of cars. You got like either Mater or like McQueen. Or these titles like Tater and. Summator or something. All right. Uh, we got we gotta make a uh, Rice or McQueen. We gotta get um. We gotta get some. We need a lot of air intake. You know, intake all that dust. There we go. Side skirt. You know, you got a car wheel low to the ground. There we go, like that. I'll keep that in mind. Maybe there's something else here. There we go. That, that's perfect. Uh, bumper. Yeah, real low to the ground. There we go. That's that's what I like talking. Ooh, there we go. Thick. We got Thick McQueen. We gotta get a... Spoiler, we gotta get a... Big Wang. No Wang! Uh, there we go. Big Wang. Of course, we gotta get the wheels. We get be a big racer. All ricers got fab gold wheels that are made of actual gold. You gotta get a uh, more gold wheels. Uh, and there we go. Racer McQueen. Here we got thick Racer McQueen. We can't do all much cheese mode with off road line with in this game because that'd be really cool to do. Just there we go. So we got these guys, and we also got like the beat up old cars. Also, in the game, they have Fred, who's like the guy who's like, I'm your biggest fan, McQueen. And he just follows him everywhere and sees Mario and Dreddy. He's like, well, Mario and Dreddy knows my name, you have to let me in now. We also got Sarge, who's in here too, an off road car, so that's cool. Oh shoot, oh shoot, oh, forgot, <laughs> wasn't looking well, alright. But Fred's in first right now, Fred, yeah, Fred's like normally really good. But you know, I think if you're in beginner mode, he sucks, but then in, like, the pro mode, he's actually like really good. But yeah, it's also really hard to turn, too. Especially when you're a racer, and you're on off-road course with, like, some old cars. 
Oh shoot, Fred fell. Where's I in top two anymore? Oh, there he is. Fred's in fourth now. Not for long. Fred Gilbert, I'm gonna beat you. Kinda of just jelly. No! No! No, he spun out. McQueen. The oh, right, Ricer McQueen is spun out. Alright, there we go. Jump, jump, bump, bump, bump. No. There we go. Come on, let's go. And jump. There we go. Keep going. No, no! Ricer McQueen. You ain't, <laughs> you ain't tough and you ain't small either. <laughs> Shoot, no, no. Last lap, come on. We gotta win this. We gotta win this for the boys back home. Oh, shoot, no, no, overcorrected, no. It's a racetrack, what do you mean go slow? I'm Lightning McQueen. World famous race car. I'm the rookie sensation that took the world that that came into the season unknown, but everybody knows me now. They're gonna know me for getting. You know, never where we try us. Look at that! Look at that! My, my nice my wrap is <laughs> my wrap is all dirty now. So no, that's not, that's extreme racing, you know. Bumpers. Carbon fibers all getting ripped up. Big wangs. Losing all the shine. Chrome wang. Losing all the shine. Shoot, no! Car ahead of me? What's going on? I made you look like a racer and I put you on an off road track, so yeah. There we go. Shoot, no. This is like me when I try to drive. Or when I'm on my RC track and racing, but... We're both kind of the same thing, so keep on running over stuff and I go off-road. But alright, here we go. Jump! Big thing in this, I think, is acceleration control. Because, like, you, it's a real tight track. You, no! You can see my undercarriage. You can see the undercarriage and all the money I didn't spend on how much rust and dirt there is now. And yeah, this isn't going well. We gotta retry. Retry again. Sorry, just doing good this round. And so is that guy, whoever he is. But you know what? There's this game called uh, Cars Radiator Springs Adventure, which I think I have. So there's a lineup for how the Cars games go. So there's the first Cars game, video game, which is Cars the video game, Cars the game, which is the OG game, which is actually very interesting. I haven't never played it though, so I don't think that. I don't, oh jeez, look at that guy flipped over. All right, uh, yeah, I think they're, I don't think I made it for Wii. I think I only made it for, like, PlayStation 1 and Xbox. But, uh, at that, there's Cars Raider Springs Adventure, which is a PC ROM CD game, which I have. CD ROM, just so, oh, jeez. Play on my old dad, my dad's old Sony Vaya, which still had runs XP. All right, uh, so yeah, we played on that, and then you got, uh, after that, you got Cars Race Aram, which is this, which is absolutely glorious, along with Radio Springs Adventures and the first Cars game. After that, you got Cars 2, which is awful. And then you got Cars 3, which is a little bit better, just because like, it's got more like multiplayer formats and stuff, and more customization, but it's just like, it's really just a warmed over and updated version of Cars 2. With different cars, so. 
I have played Cars 2 the game, but I have not played Cars 3 the game because I don't believe they've, I don't think they've made a uh, adapt. I don't think they've had a uh, adaption to. Uh, Huh? 